Did you just get an 85mm prime lens or something of that same equivalent? Did you just get an f1.4 lens or even better an f0.95 lens? And you know, you got this because you love that bokeh, you love that background blur and you want to use it at its widest aperture. You want to get that 3D pop. You want to get that cinematic look that you've been yearning for. And as much as I love that bokeh in my portraits, I'm here to tell you to stop shooting portraits wide open all the time because it can make you look like an amateur sometimes. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys a few reasons why you shouldn't. Starting with reason number one. It's too shallow. Take it from me. I previously owned a Sony 50mm f1.2 G Master lens and I thought, my goodness, some of that background blur, some of that tonade that we all seem to love, there are times where I find it to be too shallow. Uh, take a look at this shot that I took of Emma. Now, uh, this was the first time I ever shot at f1.2 on a full frame system and I didn't know how shallow it was going to be. So you start to see half of her face just slowly transition into a like a blur into an out of focus area some would say this could be a creative choice and it's artsy and i would agree at times but not all the times more times than not whenever i had shots that were in this type of uh, similar situation it just made my life harder uh, because you know when i start to uh, skin retouch i would like to have the face uh, sharp and in focus like all the face so i have a good surface area to uh, to clone stamp from this is how I this is how I skin uh, this is how I uh, skin retouch uh, so there are times where you need to take group, a group photo right and if they're not in the right focal plane some of them will become out of focus and this can be distracting to the viewer you might end up with a face or a body part that are out of focus yeah no one wants that so stop down your images and you'll look less like an amateur. It could be challenging to nail focus unless you have like a Sony camera with insane autofocusing. Trying to nail focus while the subject is moving is going to be tricky, especially wide open. I know there are times where I think I've nailed the shots, but when I came back and reviewed the images, they were slightly out of focus. And this is due to the fact that I was shooting it wide open and the focal plane is just so razor thin, it's hard to nail focus unless they are still. It reduces sharpness and contrast. Uh, this is all depending on the lenses that you get. Usually with an f0.95 lenses, and I tried a lot of f0.95 lenses for the Fujifilm X mount, uh, they all have problems when shooting wide open. As much as it, it's pretty to shoot things at f0.95 to get that dreamy bokeh, isn't it just nicer to just have your images sharp and full of contrast and not look so washed out? Uh, shooting wide open can often lead to um, loss of contrast and your image looking super soft. Uh, this is just the way that the optics is. If you're able to shoot wide open and still keep things sharp and full of contrast, you're looking to pay a premium for that lens. But oftentimes these f0.95 lenses that you see here, they all have some sort of contrast issue or they all suffer from shots not looking to not looking as sharp as you want them to be at f0.95. Most of the time the, the chromatic aberrations you see in your shots are results of you shooting stuff wide open. <laughs> and chromatic aberrations in your portraits can look distracting and not pleasing to the image. So what are you gonna do to look less like an amateur? Repeat after me guys, stop it down. There's no context. You know when you shoot wide open, you just want to obliterate the background, right? So that the subject can pop out from the image. And maybe to, you know, to remove some distractions from the scene. Take a look at this uh, shot with Tatiana right here. This was shot on the medium format, the Fujifilm GFX 100S and the GF uh, 110mm f2 lens. When I shot this, I was just thinking, let's just see what this medium format is all about because the shallow depth of field on a medium format sensor just hits different. And, you know, this was just like for me, I was trying I was trying to flex, you know, part, I just want to see what this uh what this lens and this image sensor can do. I shot this wide open to obliterate the background. And to me, it looks great. But then once I started to peel back the layer, I felt like I was missing missing something. And that something was context. I could have stopped this down to get a sense of the area she was in. But now I would never know what's in the background because it's too much bokeh. And like I said before, there are times where this could be good, but oftentimes you are removing background elements that could enhance the story of your portrait. And if all your portraits 
are just shot wide open, it starts to look stale. And what happens after, guys? That's right, you start to look like an amateur that just loved bogey this and bogey that. So what should we do to look less like an amateur? That's right, you stop it down. If you guys still love your bokeh, I'll make you a deal. Instead of shooting at f0.95, try stopping it down to like f1.4. At least you will get some clarity, some sharpness, and some contrast back into your shots. Or instead of shooting at f1.2, try shooting at f2.8. Matter of fact, how about you start shooting your portraits at like f5.6, at f8, or f11? Some of my favorite shots that I've enjoyed were taken because I stopped down by shots. Even though I was shooting with like, uh, with, a, with an f1.4 lens, and I could have just cheated photography by just obliterating the background. I chose to tell more of a story. I wanted to add textures to the background. I wanted to add visual interest and I wanted to add more depth and I wanted to have more of the subject's face in focus and in sharp. Having a more sharp and more detailed face is great so I kind of have more options to sample from when I'm retouching skin. So the next time you think of shooting wide open, just don't. It makes you look like an amateur. And how do you look less like an amateur, guys? And that is, say it with me, guys, stop it down. Stop it down, guys. We stopping it down, baby. <laughs> but yeah, all jokes aside, I love bokeh, guys. I love the shallow depth of field. And there are times where you can shoot wide open and not look like an amateur. So just know that there is a time and place. And uh, before I leave you with some of my favorite shots that I took stopped down, please consider subscribing to my channel if you, if you guys want to see more photography tip videos like this. And leave me a like as well as it helps push the video out onto the YouTube algorithm. Thanks so much. For